again we're going to continue off now we're going to be doing the entrance doors so if your file is closed let me just close it to show you again how to reopen it again to reopen don't open it from here guys like I suggested open it from up here click on the browser navigator sorry and then open up architectural and the entry level this way you're sure you open the right one and not one that you saved on your USB or somewhere else by accident <coughs> so now we're going to go and insert the entrance door which is going to go over here so we're going to go to the content browser we're going to go to the content browser right over here and we're going to go look for the imperial library from here we're going to go s go to doors and windows and we're going to go to door and window assemblies from in here we're going to go look for the one that's called hinge single 6-8 so it should be around page four. Let's see, hinged. <coughs> Sorry, right over here. Hinge single six eight. This is the one right here. We're gonna take. We're going to we're in the door tab. We're going to right click and do, or just hover over it. Sorry, and do add to tool palette, and it's gonna bring it right over here. From there, now we're gonna go click on the door, and we have it active. We'll click on the wall we're going to go to, which in this case here should be the front wall, right over here. But before we actually put the door, what's the first step we should have done? Is we should change the width, length, and height. So the width of this door here is going to be 4 feet. Is this the right door? Yeah, 4 feet. The height is going to be 8 foot 7. And we're going to leave, this is okay, eight, 4 feet, 8 foot 7. We're going to position it, offset, center. We're going to take automatic offset to 5 foot 10. And we're going to leave it at sill and sill height 0. So now we have our correct settings. We're going to go now and put the door in this corner over here. So we're gonna right now it's showing that it's 410, 410, but if you move the mouse a little bit to the right, you see it's gonna show you the number you want, which is five foot ten on the right side. We're going to click it, and there's our entrance door placed. So now that we have our entrance door placed, we're gonna actually look at it right now and we're gonna move it within the wall as well. We're gonna do like we did before. Click on the door, hover over this piece here move within and like we've done before move it up two inches and right away you notice that by moving it <coughs> the wall also adjusts because we did it in the wall settings so in the previous video you saw we clicked on one of the wall types we did edit and we went back to end caps and we modified the windows and doors to have the sill of 3d before it was standard which was flush and this is the 3D one we did in an earlier video as well. There we go. Now like we've done before, just to be consistent, let's see, you click on the door, edit style, and we can change the frame width. If I put 4x4, four four, let's see how it looks. No, we don't want that. So let's undo that. We'll leave it like this, no frame. So let's go put our 3D look, our 3D view, sorry. So now we have the 3D view. If I go look at realistic or shaded or hidden, you see that the door has been, let's go resume. So now we have the look of it. <coughs> we could change it again, see the different ones shaded. Let's see the different looks of how it looks, hidden. I can even go to the visual styles and I could play around with this as well. Let's go to the option settings. Go to the display tab. It's right over here. And we're going to go change the colors. And I'm going to change it to a white. For 3D parallel, we're going to change it to white. This is optional. You don't really need to do this. I'm just trying to show you guys. Apply and close. Press OK. So now we see it all in white. Go back to hidden and everything looks good. Again, we're going to change it one more. Let's go back, open up here, go to visual styles, 
and in here we're gonna go click on the hidden option that we just did before and we're gonna make sure we do where is it <coughs> we're gonna make sure the background is set to off background environment we're gonna set it to off that one there and also we're gonna set the silhouette edges Silhouette edges, which is right over here. We're going to set it to no. So now it's going to make it go a little bit faster than before. So we turned off our backgrounds over here and we went, we scrolled down over on the toolbar and we clicked on silhouette edges and we said no to it. Press close. And now we have them look like this. Good. This is what we want. Now we're going to modify the entrance door. We're going to go to this one over here and we're going to go click on the glass. On the door actually. But you should be able to, once you click on the door, you're going to see a pop-up that should say show infill markers. Where is my infill markers? We have to get the door, not the actual assembly. There we go. Is this the door? No. So make sure you grab the actual frame itself. And now you're going to see that we have one called Show Infill Markers. Right up above. You're going to click on it. And now we have it showing our two windows. So again, I clicked up here to make sure that I'm not selecting just the door, but the frame. So it grabs everything at the same time. Good. Once that is done, we're going to go do edit styles. We're going to go to design rules. And we're going to go to the frame option right over here. We're going to leave the default name as default frame, but we're going to change this to 4 inches width. And the depth, we're going to change it, leave it at 5. Okay, and we're going to press OK. So now you notice it went a little bit smaller in. Let's go back and add another door. Go back home. Content browser. Go to doors and windows like we did before. Door window assemblies. I oh know we have this already. I think it's already loaded, but it's under doors. And it should be under the third page. Hinge single double door. Hinge single double right here. Double light. We're going to click this door here. Add it to our two palette. Just right over here. And we're going to go click on this window icon right over here. And we're going to go change the door to the one we just... I should be able to grab it. Let's see again. There we go. I have the host. And I should be able to change the the door. <coughs> That's the end grid. So click on the bottom right corner of the door, like so. And see, before by clicking here, we got the actual assembly. We don't want that. We just want to change the door type right in the front. So click on the door. And now we're going to go use the door we, we just loaded, which is the hinge double full light. Like so. But I just wanted the window. I don't know why it's... Uh, did I take the wrong door? I may have taken the wrong... D yeah, I took the wrong door. Let's go back to the tool browser, doors, condom browser. Yeah, this is the door I took. I think I took the wrong one. So let's go choose it again. That's a single one. It's a single door. We don't want that. Okay, it goes all the way down. Perfect. 
but I should be able to this is not what I want to do but you could change the door that way I just wanted to change the infill the glass let's see if I have the cycle let's see, go here cycling tool there we go Cycling on. I should be able to change the infill. Let's see if I override it. If I click here. Sorry about this. Let's see if I, I, so what I did there is I got to grab this infill here and I'm going to click and do override assignment in this case. Click on it, enter, and now I'm going to go s add the door we had before, which is the same one I had now. This isn't what I want to do. So give me one second. So I had loaded the wrong door, so it should technically have been this one here. So I clicked on it and I, f I loaded the wrong one. This is what we were trying to do from before. All right. Now everything looks okay. So we added the doors, the windows, and we could take off the show marker. Click over here and we could uncheck the markers on the frame. Door window assembly and take this off. There we go. Now let's go back to the top view. So the issue before was I had the wrong door selected. But now everything looks okay. We moved it up already, so we're good there. Let's go edit the door styles. Put this to zero width. Take off auto adjust. And there are doors back to the normal panel. Now we're going to have the same door, so we're going to click on this door. Add selected. And before we do it, we're going to go change the setting. Or just click this door here. This one here. I want the sub assembly as selected. <coughs> and we're going to go put it automatic at 1 foot 5. And we're going to go put it over here. like so. So we clicked on not the door, we clicked on the frame itself and then we did add select and then we changed the setting and we put it right over here so it's one foot five away from that wall. So in the end it should look something like this. So we have one door entrance in the front, we have our windows, our three patio doors in the back, the other door in the, in the side and so forth. So save it and that's it. That's it for the entrance doors.